Election 2011 coverage on Manx Radio. This morning, a candidate uh, bidding to build on his first two years of Manx politics, Chris Robertshaw, won the uh, East Douglas, or Douglas East, by-election, an election soured somewhat by the blind trust issue. Formerly running a major Douglas hotel, the Sefton, married two children, 62 years old, lives in Crosby. Uh, good morning, Mr. Good Robertshaw. morning. Uh, you've not accepted government office in the first two years, quote, to get up to speed. Well, are you up to speed yet? Yes, I think I am, but it's uh, you're not. It's one year, not two. One year? Yeah. You've I'm only just... been in for one year? Yeah, that's fine. It just seems you've been with us for so long, Mr. Robertson. <laughs> well, that's kind of you, John. <laughs> um, yes, you've not accepted government office, but ne- next no. time, if you win again, would you go in and no. accept it? Of course I would. I mean, really, we've had a phony war, haven't we, since, 19, uh, since 2006, when really we should have implemented, at that stage, the scope and structure of government report. We didn't, and we sort of left everything in abeyance um, till quite sh- quite recently, and now things are starting to engage. I've spent the... So, really, it, it, it'll have to kick in after the next uh, election in a very big way to react to the difficulties we've got on. You entitled your manifesto a new approach. Well, that's right. I, 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 I entitled it a new approach in 2006 because that's what we needed. I, I entitled it the same, um, you know, at the by-election, and, in fact, it'll be exactly the same title this time because we really need to get on with the changes. Under, under Mr Brown, we've had a phony war, really, and now we've really got to get on with the job. Well, just talk about the changes. Obviously, the £75 million over three years. Now, there are going to have to be cuts made somewhere in income. Where would you make the cuts? Specifically, where would you make cuts? Well, uh, you, you, you say, um, you know, it's, it's £75 million. Um, it's, it's £75 million developed and built up over three years, isn't it? And if you looked at 75 million as an expression of our gross income, it's 3% per annum over three years. If you look at it um, as, a, as a proportion of our net, inc- uh, net income and expenditure, it's 5%. So really, we've got a three-year process now to drive our costs down. To specifically answer your question, well, um, certainly over that three-year period, there's going to have to be an adjustment in manpower. That's uh, self-evident. So cut government numbers? Absolutely. Over time, you know, progressively, so that it's as comfortable as possible. We have to grow the the private sector. We have to shrink the public sector. But we have to do it in a humane, sensible way. Which is expensive in terms of redundancy payments, etc. If you did it over a three-year period, you obviously want to try and avoid that as much as you can. I can't guarantee that that will uh, arrive, but I mean, that's what we'd aim for, presumably any sensible person would. You've described, uh, not all your colleagues, I hope, as pedestrian and self-seeking, or you did before you actually took your seat. Do you so, still have that view? Well, I, 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 I found uh, the process in the last year, being, uh, I found the whole process somewhat um, somewhat a, an exercise in navel-gazing. I think there's been a disconnect between the, the political process and the people, and there's a need to, to, to draw those things together. I've said that many times, but now more than ever that's got to happen because people have got to be engaged in the process of where's the island going, what are our key services that we really want to uh, maintain, what are the areas that we're willing to let go or change. You've spoken about many issues, um, young people, Iris in particular, um, but can I just go into a local issue as far as East Douglas is concerned? Mm. Uh, the state of East Douglas, what can be done? What would you like to see done? Well, I, uh, well, there are two, I think, two key issues as far I mean, as... the transport m- system you want to see yeah, integrated. Yeah, well, yes, but, I mean, that now has to be pushed back somewhat because of the, of the state of our um, budget, so we'll have to put that a little bit back. Um, I think the two key areas are car parking and housing, and I, I don't think the Isle of Man really has an imaginative approach to our housing policy. And I you think don't like car parks? You describe them as great big, ugly blocks? I, no, the, no, the the car parking problems for the residents of East Douglas. Right. Yeah, yeah. So no, um, you'd see the traffic problem. Obviously, you see it as a major problem for the city, uh, for y- Douglas. The yes, town. I do. There are certain residential areas <coughs> in in Douglas East itself which have to be reclaimed for the residents, and there's quite a lot of work to do there to achieve that. If you did accept government office, if you were offered it, etc., which departments do you think you'd be best suited to? Well, it's not for. I mean, the first job surely is to get to re-elected. get re-elected. But if there's but, a lot of but ifs it, and if maybes. if I if I do get re-elected, um, but where do you it, think you'd do the most use? Uh, well, I, I'd go where I was asked to go, really. But <laughs> um, I. I, I I, I'd be interested in Treasury, in DED, in infrastructure, quite a lot of areas, yeah. And the, the way ahead pretty tough? 
Is the island up to it? I think we are, yes. I mean, I, it, the, I'm really glad that we've actually got hold of the problem now and we can get on with it and, and, and face the future with a certain degree of determination and a bit of courage too. Mr Robertshaw, thank you very much for joining us. Chris Robertshaw, who's standing in the Douglas East uh, election in September. It's 8 o'clock.